Shelley. Kirby Cleveland made his first appearance here today, and he'll be back tomorrow. The criminal complaint just released says that after the shooting, Cleveland told his wife that he'd shot a police officer. The questions are very much still there as to why and what really happened. We don't have those answers yet. Navajo police officer Houston Largo's family was in court today to see the accused killer face to face. This is what his sister said after the shooting. For the man that did this, um, it's his, he has his own consequences. A newly unsealed criminal complaint describes what happened in Pruitt. Sky 7 flew over the home today where, according to the complaint, Officer Largo was headed to a domestic violence call. The complaint says Cleveland's wife called 911, saying he was drunk, yelling, and outside firing a rifle. But before police got there, he went to a friend's house. A little while later, Cleveland's wife heard gunshots outside. When she looked out the window, she saw a police vehicle with lights on and that same friend's truck outside. Then Cleveland came inside, telling his wife he'd shot the officer and instructing her to help him. Documents say Cleveland was with the friend when Officer Largo stopped them. The officer handcuffed the friend, and sometime after that is when the officer was shot. But the friend told officers he wasn't sure what happened because he was so intoxicated. A neighbor found Officer Largo on the ground beside his patrol car. He had been shot, but was still alive. She told officers while she was waiting for police, Cleveland showed up and wanted Officer Largo's keys to get his friend out of the handcuffs, but she refused. Officers say they found Cleveland hiding under a big rock about a mile and a half away. Yeah, Doug and Shelley, tomorrow's hearing will be what's known as a preliminary hearing when the judge will decide if Cleveland will remain in custody while awaiting trial. Now, the judge in the courtroom today did say that he was concerned that Cleveland could be a flight risk and a danger to the community. Reporting live here in downtown Albuquerque, David Carl, KOAT Action 7 News.